In this video, we are going to do the practical exam for the Data Camp Data Analyst Associate Practicals. So, I will share with you the approach which I used to solve this exam and uh, hoping that this would be useful for somebody. So, the first thing which I want to do is to read the task. Uh, the very first task is that we have a table and we have to sanitize and clean the data of that specific table. So from taking a quick look at the data, you are pretty certain that it isn't quite as it should be. You need to make sure all the data is clean before you start your analysis. So first thing which we want to do is uh, we have to see what kind of data is present in the in the in the specific table. And that's what we are going to do. So it says product ID. There is missing value is not possible in category the missing value is possible and it should be replaced with an unknown similar for other things also i'm not going to read this so the very first thing which i want to do here is to find what are the data types of these specific columns which are there in the table and how can i do that so i can use this to find that in the pet supplies table what are the different columns which are there and what are the data types of the same. So this is this is how I see category is a text, animal is a text, size is also a text. Uh, the important thing to see here is that the price is also a text. Price is not a number, numeric or a double, it is a text. So we have to be a little careful with this guy. And then sales is a double precision, ratings is integer, repeat purchase is also an integer. So now let's see some of these uh, values and see what kind of problems they are having. So uh, how I can do is select. So I'm uh, selecting the distinct category from this and I can see there is a missing category which is there. Okay. And uh, so this is one. If I see, let's say I would see uh, the size, okay, I, I want to see the size data because I have already seen that it has problems. So if I do a distinct size, I would see that medium is in both capital, uh, camel case, capital and small case. So there is a problem with this data also. This also we have to sanitize. Uh, what is the problem in price? I'll quickly show you the problem in price. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, let's do it without this order first. So this is a text and it has the price here. Uh, if I order by price descending and I would see that there is a problem here that one of the value is called unlisted. So all these problems are there. So what is the query which I have written? Let me show you the query and we will just quickly discuss the same. So this is the query which I have written here. Uh, so what we are doing here is first thing is we are going to calculate the median. Okay, because if it is sales is zero, we have to replace it by the median. So we find the median when sales is not equal to null. Okay, I hope you know all these things. If not, just Google it how it works. But basically we are trying to ascertain what is the median here. Then uh, we have created this query uh, or a table here median sales and then we shall be utilizing it down select product ID product ID is never null they have already given category and category should be under these values if it is not in this value uh, uh, or it is a null then it should be replaced with unknown okay similar to that we have animals animal should be in this or if animal is null, then we have to say unknown. This is important. We saw the, pri uh, the, the size was having a lot of different cases. So we are converting the case to a lower case. If uh, it is uh, uh, in the lower case, it will match irrespective of the cases. And we are going to replace it with, small, uh, with, with the camel case, small. Likewise for others. And if it is out of these items, small, medium and large, then it is going to be replaced by unknown. Okay. Now price, we saw that it is a text. Okay. So we cannot do a direct comparison of is null. So that's where we are converting the price to text. It's already a text, but we are casting it to text again. And we are checking 
whether the price is a numeric or not this is a regex for checking a numeric or not if it is a numeric it's a double i mean uh, double precision then we are casting it uh, uh, and uh, as a numeric with a precision of 2 we are rounding it to 2 otherwise we will call it as 0 okay likewise we do for sales uh, uh, yeah uh, if it is null then we are taking the median sale uh, and uh, we are coalescing rating to 0 uh, okay and then uh, that's it that's it when you run this command then you would be able to see that you are having the proper values here that is the first uh, the second task is you want to know whether sales are higher for repeat purchases for different animals you also want to give a range for the sales okay so basically we have to give the range for the sales let me show you the query which i have written so this is the sales we can see that we are finding the average sale because that's what they have asked and we are rounding it off meaning we are making it a numeric there is no decimal here sales has a double double precision we are converting it to an integer without any decimal points by using this round and we are not providing the second parameter which makes it the integer uh, you can do it like comma zero also i think that is just the same uh, similar we are doing min max which is asked uh, where sales is not null and group by animal and repeat purchases and order by the same okay this is the second query the third task is the management team wants to focus on efforts in the next year on the most popular pets so for cats and dogs they want to return product id sales and rating for re relevant products okay let me show you the query so this is the query we are selecting the product id we are rounding the sales if rating is not available we are making it zero otherwise we are taking the rating where animal and cat and dog and repeat purchase is one meaning it is repeat purchase and sales is not null and order by sales descending okay so i'll execute this as well so we have written all the three queries the final thing which we want to see is how good we have done in the exam so uh, when you submit this you have to submit the project and these on the left side where my cursor is right now mouse cursor is right now you would be able to see that these would become ticked if they are correct and cross if they are not correct okay so i'll submit it and let's see so it says congratulations you have completed the project that means it's all good thank you